everybody. My name is Valerie King and I'm a Troop Experience Manager and today we're going to do a few activities or let's rephrase that, an activity that takes a few different things. So we'll wait a few minutes and see for some people to jump on. Today I have the amazing Natalie helping me out in the comment box. And um, if you have any questions about anything that's going on or have questions about Girl Scouts in general, then she will answer those. So all you got to do is make a post in the comment box. So I'm going to give it just another minute and, um, and then we'll go ahead and get started with this activity. This is an activity that I did a couple years ago at um, a STEM event. And so it was a lot of fun to kind of just put some ingredients together and have a really great time and make something kind of cool out of it. And it's something that's good for all ages because the younger ones just love blowing the bubbles and the older ones love being able to make a piece of art out of it. So, um, since we already have some viewers on, let's go ahead and get started. As I said, again, my name is Valerie King. I'm a Troop Experience Manager with Girl Scouts Carolina Peaks to Piedmont. And today we are going to be doing bubble painting. So bubble painting is really kind of cool and exactly what it says it is. We are going to use bubbles to paint. So, I have all the ingredients here. I have some straws. I have paper. I have cups. I have dish soap. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dish soap in the bottom of these cups. I've already made one color green so that I knew I'd be prepared and that I didn't forget how to do it. Um, and then we have our water. So I'm going to go ahead and put some water into my cups. Basically just like making bubbles, just a pretty decent ratio. There's not a lot of science behind that. Well, I guess there is science because you're mixing it together, but there's not a lot of measurements that need to be done. If you want it to be more bubbly, you add more bubbles. If you want it to be less bubbly, you add um, more water. So anyway, so then what we do, we do the really cool part. Of course, we start mixing up our bubbles. So we just mix them up really good. And then you take food coloring of your choice and you can mix the food coloring. You can do all kinds of things. So I already have green made. I'm going to go ahead and make some red. So you just put about four or five drops in there. And then over here, yellow doesn't show up really good. So I'm going to make a mixture of yellow and red so that we have orange. So three drops of yellow and then I'm going to add two drops of red. And then I'm going to stir them up. So as you can see, I definitely have red, orange, and green right here. Right there's my red and orange, and there's my green, which you can already see. So here comes the really cool part. Um, so this um, right here, you're going to blow the bubbles. And this is like going back to elementary school, blow bubbles in your chocolate milk and have a whole lot of fun with it. And you want it to come up over the cup. So you want to make sure you're doing this either outside or on a surface that it's not a big deal. You're going to have food coloring on because food coloring does not come off easily. It won't come off of my hands for a couple days. It won't come off of my table if I don't have a good surface. So you want to make sure that you have a good surface to do this on. So that's why I'm on my back porch where if I blow it all over, it's not going to be a big deal because it's not like it's in my living room carpet. So here we go. So now we're going to blow our bubbles. way up over top and so and sometimes you want to add a couple extra drops if they don't look very colorful and then you simply take your straw out and you take a piece of paper and then you put the paper down on the bubbles you flatten them all out and then you end up with a really cool little design so then you mix it up and you do a different color or you can do all the same color Okay, and once again, it doesn't have a whole lot of color because it hasn't been blown up and mixed up a whole lot yet. So I'll add another drop or two. And I'll take my straw out. And I'll go down again. And then we have another really cool mix. So we'll do a little bit of green. And these have a little bit more color to them. So we'll go up towards the top. 
and that one, oh, nope, we're going to do that again. And that's the good thing about this is all you got to do is do it over again. And I'm going to go ahead and put some more bubbles on it. And there's a green one. So you can do all different kinds. And then I also like to get pictures. And this is where it can be really cool because you can take a picture and you can color it in and you can put bubbles all around it. And it makes it really unique. So um, with this one, because it's green, I want to put green bubbles all over it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to stir it up again because I'm starting to run low on the actual water. And then I'm going to blow again. Okay, and you can see that those bubbles are green now. And so we just put some green. Mm -hmm. See how great that looks? And we're going to do a little bit more. And put another drop or two in there. And come over onto this side. So... These are the type of things we've been filling our time with at my house while we are homeschooling and um, online learning and working from home. And these are some of just the great activities that leaders are doing all over the place. So if you're not a part of Girl Scouts, then I really implore you to look into reaching out and going to beagirlscout.org and checking out Girl Scouts and finding a troop near you or even looking into some of our virtual troops that are doing activities and troop meetings just like this. Because we are practicing social distancing, we're being safe, and we're making sure that everyone is in taking care of themselves and, be, and being healthy. So we want to make sure that you have some really great activities. So as I continue doing this, I hope that everyone has a wonderful afternoon. And you fill it full of fun and songs and all kinds of really great activities. And don't ever hesitate to reach out to Girl Scouts Carolina Peaks to Piedmont and see what kind of amazing virtual programs and Facebook Lives we have going on. We have so many great activities and so many great learning opportunities that... We just want to share them with you. We want to make sure that your day is full with fun and excitement, just like it would be on any other Girl Scout day. So thank you all for participating, and be safe, healthy, and go have some fun. Thank you.